sensitivities and speaking of potential collaboration and opportunities, uh, you know, a lot has happened over the last few years between India and the U.S., even in issues like defense collaboration and so on and so forth. What would you put your money on uh, in terms of forward movement, continuity, uh, perhaps even some announcements this time around? I would say... Uh Again, if I were Mr. Modi, I would not be talking about H-1B visa. Yeah. H-1B is a domestic issue about job An losses. immigration issue, yes. It's a domestic issue, and you don't want President Trump to go in and talk about immigration in India. Same thing here. Uh, you need to talk about how India can help Mr. Trump achieve a 4% growth. 4% growth can only be achieved if... America can get the best and brightest. Today there are serious shortages of people in Silicon Valley, in Boston and others. So he should be talking about how can I help you achieve your 4% growth through innovation. And our demographics can fit in there. Not about H1B or others, mm. about how two com countries can collaborate on innovation. So that would be one. I would look at defense obviously as a continuing thing. Because even though Mr. Modi has a make in India and US has a, you know, America, America first. America great again, uh, yes. Uh, etc. But there is an opportunity to do some technology transfer which could result in American jobs and Indian jobs. Healthcare is another big opportunity. Last week, President Trump had a huge session about how do we make drugs affordable in this mm. country. A large portion of generic drugs in the world today come from India. Mm. And this would be another big area of collaboration. This is one of his hallmarks, especially with veterans, providing them cheap medicine. So look at the things that he has promised in his campaign. Mm. Work them one by one and see if there is a synergy there. Mm. And then talk about the jobs that Indian companies are creating. Infosys had an announcement of 10,000 10, people there. Yes. There has been no mention because when you look at uh, leaders from across the world, they come in and they first talk jobs, jobs, jobs. This president right across thinks jobs, jobs, jobs. And if you can't talk that, then his attention span is not as great. Mm.